Good morning and welcome to morning prayer on this Sunday morning, this 23rd Sunday after Pentecost. We pray morning prayer this morning according to right one of the Book of Common Prayer. You have the bulletin link in front of you. Hopefully you've been able to access that. Know that I will also be giving page numbers out for the Book of Common Prayer as we pray morning prayer this morning. And thank you for joining us and being with us as we continue our celebration of this Lord's Day, this weekly day of resurrection. Please do take a moment and share a comment, a greeting in the comments, either on YouTube or Facebook, and let us know that you are here and praying with us. If there is anyone that you wish to add to our prayer list, please do share their name and intentions in the prayer for prayers in the comments or you may also email me privately at fr timothy at outlook.com let's begin our prayers and thank you again for being being present with us as we pray this sunday morning grace be unto you and peace from god our father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. O oh, come, let us adore him. We continue on this Sunday, this Lord's Day, as we proclaim again, week after week, the resurrection. On page 46, with the Paschal Canticle, Christ our Passover, the Pascha Nostrum. O Leah, Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore let us keep the feast, not with old leaven, neither with the leaven of malice and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Alleluia. Christ, being raised from the dead, dieth no more. Death hath no more dominion over him. For in that he died, he died unto sin once. But in that he liveth, he liveth unto God. Likewise reckon ye also yourselves to be dead indeed unto sin, but alive unto God through Jesus Christ our Lord. Alleluia. Christ is risen from the dead and become the firstfruits of them that slept. For since by man came death, by man came also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. Alleluia. Our continuous reading of the Psalter brings us this morning to Psalm 103 on page 733 of the Book of Common Prayer. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. He forgives all your sins and heals all your infirmities. He redeems your life from the grave and crowns you with mercy and loving kindness. He satisfies you with good things, and your youth is renewed like an eagle's. The Lord executes righteousness and judgment for all who are oppressed. He made his ways known to Moses and his works to the children of Israel. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy, slow to anger, and of great kindness. He will not always accuse us, nor will he keep his anger forever. He has not dealt with us according to our sins, nor rewarded us according to our wickedness. Whereas the heavens are high upon, above the earth, so is his mercy great upon those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our sins from us. As a father cares for his children, so does the Lord care for those who fear him. For he himself knows whereof we are made, he remembers that we are but dust. Our days are like the grass, we flourish like a flower of the field. 
When the wind goes over it, it is gone, and its place shall know it no more. But the merciful goodness of the Lord endures forever on those who fear him, and his righteousness on children's children, on those who keep his covenant and remember his commandments and do them. The Lord has set his throne in heaven, and his kingship has dominion over all. Bless the Lord, you angels of his, you mighty ones who do his bidding, and hearken to the voice of his word. Bless the Lord, all you his hosts, you ministers of his who do his will. Bless the Lord, all you works of his in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Ecclesiasticus. I give you thanks, O Lord and King, and praise you, O God, my Savior. I give thanks to your name, for you have been my protector and helper, and have delivered me from destruction, and from the trap laid by a slanderous tongue, from lips that fabricate lies in the face of my adversaries. You have been my helper and delivered me, in the greatness of your mercy and of your name, from grinding teeth about to devour me, from the hand of those seeking my life, from the many troubles I endured, from choking fire on every side, and from the midst of fire that I had not kindled, from the deep belly of Hades, from an unclean tongue and lying words, the slander of an unrighteous tongue to the king, my soul drew near to death, and my life was on the brink of Hades below. They surrounded me on every side, and there was no, no one to help me. I looked for human assistance, and there was none. Then I remembered your mercy, O Lord, and your kindness from of old, for ye rescue those who wait for you, and save them from the hand of their enemies. And I sent up my prayer from the earth and begged for rescue from death. I cried out, Lord, you are my Father, do not forsake me in the days of trouble, when there is no help against the proud. I will praise your name continually, and will sing hymns of thanksgiving. My prayer was heard, for you saved me from destruction, and rescued me in time of trouble. For this reason I thank you and praise you, and I bless the name of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We continue on page 50 of the prayer book with Canticle 4, the Song of Zechariah. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people, and hath raised up a mighty salvation for us in the house of his servant David as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us, to perform the mercy promised to our forefathers, and to remember his holy covenant, to perform the oath which he swore to our forefather Abraham that he would give us, that we, being delivered out of the hand of our enemies, might serve him without fear in holiness and righteousness before him, all the days of our life. And thou, child, shalt be called the prophet of the highest, for thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation unto his people for the remission of their sins, through the tender mercy of our God, whereby the day spring from on high hath visited us, to give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Paul's first letter to the Corinthians. Pursue love and strive for the spiritual gifts, and especially that you may prophesy. 
For those who speak in a tongue do not speak to other people but to God. For nobody understands them, since they are speaking mysteries in the Spirit. On the other hand, those who prophesy speak to other people for their upbuilding and encouragement and consolation. Those who speak in a tongue build up themselves, but those who prophesy build up the church. Now I would like all of you to speak in tongues, but even more to prophesy. One who prophesies is greater than one who speaks in tongues, unless someone interprets, so that the church may be built up. Now, brothers and sisters, if I come to you speaking in tongues, how will I benefit you unless I speak to you in some revelation or knowledge or prophecy or teaching? It is the same way with lifeless instruments that produce sound, such as the flute or the harp. If they do not give distinct notes, how will anyone know what is being played? And if the bugle gives an indistinct sound, who will get ready for battle? So with yourselves, if in a tongue you utter speech that is not intelligible, how will anyone know what is being said? For you will be speaking into the air. There are doubtless many different kinds of sounds in the world, and nothing is without sound. If then I do not know the meaning of a sound, I will be a foreigner to the speaker, and the speaker a foreigner to me. So with yourselves, since you are eager for spiritual gifts, Strive to excel in them for building up the church. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We continue on page 52 of the prayer book with Canticle 7, the Te Deum. We praise thee, O God, we acknowledge thee to be the Lord. All the earth doth worship thee, the Father everlasting. To thee all angels cry aloud, the heavens and all the powers therein. To thee cherubim and seraphim continually do cry, Holy, holy, holy Lord God of Sabaoth, heaven and earth are full of the majesty of thy glory. The glorious company of the apostles praise thee. The goodly fellowship of the prophets praise thee. The noble army of martyrs praise thee. The holy church throughout all the world doth acknowledge thee. The Father of an infinite majesty, thine adorable true and only Son, also the Holy Ghost, the Comforter. Thou art the King of glory, O Christ, thou art the everlasting Son of the Father. When thou tookest upon thee to deliver man, thou didst humble thyself to be born of a virgin. When thou hadst overcome the sharpness of death, thou didst open the kingdom of heaven to all believers. Thou sittest at the right hand of God in the glory of the Father. We believe that thou shalt come to be our judge. We therefore pray thee, help thy servants, whom thou hast redeemed with thy precious blood. Make them to be numbered with thy saints in glory everlasting. A reading from Matthew. Jesus said, For the kingdom of heaven is like a landowner who went out early in the morning to hire laborers for his vineyard. After agreeing with the laborers for the usual daily wage, he sent them into his vineyard. When he went out about nine o'clock, he saw others standing idle in the marketplace. And he said to them, You also go into the vineyard, and I will pay you whatever is right. So they went. When he went out again about noon and about three o'clock, he did the same. And about five o'clock he went out and found others standing around, and he said to them, Why are you standing here idle all day? They said to him, Because no one has hired us. He said to them, You also go into the vineyard. When evening came, the owner of the vineyard said to his manager, Call the laborers and give them their pay, beginning with the last and then going to the first. When those hired about five o'clock came, each of them received the usual daily wage, now when the first came, they thought they would receive more, but each of them also received the usual daily wage. And when they received it, they grumbled against the landowner, saying, These last worked only one hour, and you have made them equal to us who have borne the burden of the day and the scorching heat. But he replied to one of them, Friend, I am doing you no wrong. Did you not agree with me for the usual daily wage? Take what belongs to you and go. 
I choose to give to this last the same as I give to you. Am I not allowed to do what I choose with what belongs to me? Or are you envious because I am generous? So the last will be first, and the first will be last. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now, dear friends, we continue on page 54 with the prayers. And as we transition into the prayers, a reminder that if there is someone on your heart this morning for prayers for healing in body, soul, mind, or spirit, or for the repose of the newly departed, and you suspect that they are not yet on our list, I encourage you and invite you to add their names to the comments or to email them to me at frtimothy at outlook.com. FR is in Father. We will add them to our prayers. Meanwhile, today, feel free to add them to the comments and know that by doing so, you are adding them to the prayers yourself this day. We will be delighted and honored to pray with you for those whom you hold in your heart. Page 54. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. We pray suffrages set B on page 55. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine heritage. Govern them and lift them up forever. Day by day we magnify thee, and we worship thy name ever world without end. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us, have mercy upon us. O Lord, let thy mercy be upon us, as our trust is in thee. O Lord, in thee have I trusted. Let me never be confounded. Let us pray. We pray first the collect of this Lord's Day. O God, whose blessed Son was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil, and make us the children of God and heirs of eternal life. Grant us, we beseech thee, that having this hope we may purify ourselves even as he is pure that when he shall appear again with power and great glory, we be, may be made like unto him in his eternal and glorious kingdom, where with thee, O Father, and thee, O Holy Ghost, he liveth and reigneth ever one God, world without end. Amen. We pray the Matins Collect for Sunday mornings. O God, who makest us glad with the weekly remembrance of the glorious resurrection of thy Son, our Lord, grant us this day such blessing through our worship of thee, that the days to come may be spent in thy favor. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We pray the collect for guidance. O Heavenly Father, in whom we live and move and have our being, we humbly pray thee so to guide and govern us by thy Holy Spirit, that in all the cares and occupations of our life, we may not forget thee, but may remember that we are ever walking in thy sight. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We pray for healing in our world in our nation, 
and here at home. We pray for healing in body, soul, mind, and spirit for all who are in any need and under any affliction. We pray for those who have been infected with COVID-19. For all who face any affliction. We pray for those who care for them and those who love them. We pray especially for those who have been commended to us and our prayers, for healing in body, soul, mind, and spirit, remembering and praying for our brothers and sisters among the servants of God, Addie, Adelaide, Alvin, Amy, Anne-Marie, Father Arthur, Audrey, Barb, Barbara, Betsy, Betty, Bill, Bob, Pastor Brian, Bridget, Bruce, Carone, Charlotte, Christine, Clara, Connie, Dale, Dan, Darlene, Dave, David, Denise, Don, Ed, Eileen, Erica, Ernie, Esther, Florence, Grace, Helen A, Helen K, Helen Y, Igor, Jack, Jeff, Jennifer, Mother Jenny, Father Jerry, Jim B, Jim F, Jim G, Jim L, Jim Y, Joan, Joanna, Joey, John A, John B Jr, John E, John N, Father Jonathan, Judith, Judy, Julie, Justin, Lori, Leanne, Lena, Leonard, Linda, Lisa, Marge, Marguerite, Martha, Marianne, Mary, Michael, Mike, Merle, Nancy, Nanette, Natalie, Nathan, Nick, Pauline, Pedro, Rawlene, Rick, Ricky, Rita, Ron, Rose, Sal, Sally, Shannon, Sharon, Stacy, Sue, Suzanne, Tanya, Tia, Tony, Tyler, and Wendy. We pray for the repose of those who have died of this virus and of any affliction in the body in these days of pandemic. We pray especially for our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep. Andrew and Rico, Josephine Bowerick, Lois Davison, Merritt Hughes, Larry Jewell, Mary Kennedy, Scott Leeds, Diane Revisa, Stephen Thomas, Father Joseph Falzone, Father Rob Gildersleeve, Al, Betty, Bob, Carol, Catherine, Charles, Gerald, Helen, Joni, Mark, Ruth, Susan, and Thomas. Praying that these, our brothers and sisters, will, through the mercy of Christ, be numbered among those who rest from their labors. That Christ will fling wide the doors to eternal life for them and for all whom we love but see no longer. And that in God's own good time, we too would have a share in the power of Christ's resurrection. That we might see by sight and no longer by faith. That Christ is risen indeed from the grave, trampling down death by death, and bestowing life even upon those in the tombs. We pray for healing, not only for individuals, but for the whole human family, for our national family. We pray for healing in the awareness that has been brought to the focus in this past week of just how divided we are as a nation, as a people. We lament that division. We weep that we have become so divided that there are persons among us 
who our first inclination is to see as enemies. And the temptations of the voices around us are to dehumanize these ones, to vilify them, to stir in us fears of them, We pray in these days for the hand of God to be among us, to touch us and make us whole, to remove from us all fear and violence and division and unrest, to bring us to a place of unity and peace where we can indeed be one one nation, one people. Moving forward as one for the benefit of all. Seeking the common good of all of our neighbors. We pray for those among us who provide services to our communities and for for whom their work is intended to build up the human family. We give thanks for our frontline heroes, for those who provide care for body, soul, mind, and spirit, for our first responders, for all who offer emergent care in those moments, as when others run away, these ones run into those moments of crisis. We pray for teachers and professors, mentors, for all who equip others around us, not only to live, but to teach others how to live. We pray for the church. We give thanks for the fellowship of fellow believers. We pray that we who are the followers of Jesus would be faithful with the gifts we have been given and in the mission we have received to share the gospel and to make God known, to reveal God's presence in the world around us. We give thanks for family and friends, for those who love us and those whom we love. We give thanks for the fellowship of our faith communities. We give thanks for the awareness that God is our help and our strength. We give thanks for the awareness that Christ is indeed among us, even here and even now, and ever shall be. For there is no place where we are found where Christ is not found with us and before us to bring us to that place. We give thanks for all the blessings of this day. We pray that God would continue to give, to give us the strength that we need for the living of these days. We complete our prayers in the prayer of St. Chrysostom. Almighty God, who has given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication unto thee, 
and hast promised through thy well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, thou wilt be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants, as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, dear friends, for joining us for morning prayer on this Sunday morning again. If you have not yet made a comment, shared a greeting, please do so in the comments on either Facebook or YouTube and let us know that you have been praying with us. We pray the right to liturgy of the prayer book as the main Sunday liturgy at 9.15. And I hope you can join us. Thank you for being present with us and know what a joy it is for us to pray with you. And we look forward to praying with you again soon. May God be with us and with you until we meet again.